Well, after three days of uh, fishing the same lake in self-quarantine, I'm coming to a different lake. It's called Mountain Island Lake. It's a small reservoir. It's where uh, most of the municipalities around the Charlotte area get their drinking water. And I'm gonna try it out. It's not exactly my most favorite lake in the world, but in all fairness, uh, when I fished a lot more tournaments, I actually did pretty good here. Uh, it's a fickle lake. Uh, it's very current driven. It's very small. It's in between our largest lake and the lake that I normally fish. And they move water through it very quickly. They can probably flush this lake in about a day, about two or three days, uh, maybe less. Uh, the, uh, it becomes clear very quick after we've had a lot of rain, so that tells you something. Uh, the lake above it, Lake Norman, is a massive reservoir, and uh, they say that for every inch they drop Lake Norman, it raises this lake a foot. So that gives you some indication of just how small this reservoir is and how big Lake Norman is. So it's typically gin clear water. I suspect the same today. And uh, I'm gonna do some dragging, maybe some anchoring, just depending on what's going on with the wind and just see if I can find something different. Totally inside North Carolina, so I'll be using crappy for bait. And we'll see if we can catch a fish. All right, got the boat in the water. Motor's running, let her get warmed up. Yeah, this is, uh, I think day about two or three of what I'm half jokingly calling myself quarantine from the coronavirus. Um, not trying to make light of the situation. Um, I'm actually more trying to find some fun and humor in the fact that I'm not working and probably won't be working for a while. Uh, I'm affected tremendously by uh, what's going on. But that is what it is. So my plan is to fish a lot. So I guess in the whole scheme of things, if we're gonna have problems and have uh, bad situations and scenarios, if you're able to fish, life could be worse. So in all seriousness, I'm gonna spend a good bit of time <clears throat> really fishing and creating some content for the YouTube channel. Kind of going all in on that and uh, just yeah, keep my sanity until work starts to uh, come back and we kind of get past the uh, turning point here on this whole virus thing. So for now, self-quarantine out on the boat. I'm sitting there anchoring up about 20 minutes. Got a rod loaded up, pulled into a little cove with this lake being small and, in my opinion, very current driven, I decided to go where current, ooh, good pull, good pull, good pull, good pull, where current wouldn't play a part. So I came into a little creek mouth just to get away from the current. Try a little different formula here. Get the fish there. Got a little bend to it there. Put some pressure on it relatively shallow back here. I'm sitting in about 11 feet of water. Some crappy for bait. And I'm just anchored up. Just seeing what the old lake gives me. That is a feisty, fired up Mountain Island Lake blue catfish. Good tainer. Got him. Good tainer. Get me a, it's a nice looking fish. See what that's gonna weigh. Yeah, nice. Nice fish. It's a good start, kind of what I expected here. Not on fire, but a good fish. 
Oh, this one looks like it's swimming off. Which way is it going? Which way is it going? He's going way. Boom. There he is. Boom. There's his hook now. Knows he's hooked now. Not a small fish, but we'll take it. Happy to be catching fish. It's a good blue. It's a very nice blue. That actually may be closer to the size that I like to eat. More so than that big, big one I got in there. A little bit smaller. The big one may get a reprieve. I may put him back. Like this one instead. Five, six, seven pounds. It's perfect for me. That's what we'll do. Oh yeah. Let this one go. <laughs> he gets to go free. A little smaller one with me instead. That'll be plenty for us to eat. Plenty. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Catch some fish. Fish number seven. That's better than I've done the past couple days fishing all day long. So get these back out. Get some little pieces. Little fillets there, a little rattle to make it exciting for him. So we can catch us one more or two. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know. I think this is about three days into the uh, work blackout that I've been going through in my business, uh, to where I haven't had any had any work. Uh, a bunch of stuff has went away. So that's how the coronavirus has affected me. Consequently, I've kind of come out here onto the water and uh, just time to spend time out here. Uh, I do have some stuff I need to do at home, but I want to take advantage of a fishing opportunity because I've actually been working a lot and I uh, want to take advantage of this time to get out here and enjoy it, create some content for you guys, and uh, hopefully catch some fish. I think we got one. I've seen a water swirl. Ah, yep, he's there. I've seen the water swirl. I think he hit it, ate it, and plopped back down. What's funny is, some of these fish are taking these baits and taking off with them. A bunch of them are hitting and just staying put. This one's swimming at the boat. So he just figured out the boat's here. <laughs> A lot of these similar sized fish. Oh, I lost my weight. How did that? That's two of those I've had pop open on me. Easy, simmer, 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 simmer. I'm gonna help you. I'm from the government. I'm here to help you. <clears throat> Scary words. Scary words. I lost my sinker. I lost my sinker again. I saw a good eater there if I was eating them. I'd eat that one, but I got enough. I guess. Catching blue cats. You know, a bunch of people have asked me about the uh, reaction to the coronavirus with stuff being canceled, a bunch of stuff that I was working being canceled, postponed. Is it an overreaction? I don't know. I think it's at that point where uh, I think people felt like they had to do something. I think they saw what was going on in Italy and how understaffed they were medically to handle what was happening and they didn't want to see that happen in America. Uh, we won't know whether it's an overreaction or not until months, maybe years down the road uh, when we look back on it. And they'll either laugh and go, oh, we went crazy or man, that was the smartest thing we could have ever done. So who knows how it's going to end up. There's been a couple of... Uh, Catfish tournament's affected by it. The King of the James canceled uh, their tournament. Uh, and I think another smaller one did somewhere. There's a big outcry of opposition. It was very polarizing. Uh, people were either, you know, in the camp of it's overreacting, this is stupid, we don't need any more of this. People are overreacting, it's killing our economy. 
And on the other end are people that's like, you know, hey, you're doing a smart thing. You're doing what the local officials are telling you to do. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, it's kind of on both sides. Uh, what's my opinion on it? Well, you got to do what you got to do, uh, especially in a situation like that is a big tournament. People are traveling in from long ways off. They are staying in hotel rooms. It's not like a local fruit jar tournament where, you know, you're just coming from your house. That may actually be my big bait. Let's see what we got here. My new slime cat rod. I got it at Catfish Conference. Ooh, got a little pull. Got a loose reel. Ooh, coming up out of the water. Coming out of the water. That's a good thing. It's a loose reel. It's the one I've been running for about three years, but ordered me a power handle for it. Downside to the power handle is, well, I love the power handle first. Downside is when you cast it because of the weight, it wants to throw it into gear. So, oh, it's a, it's a big fish, big fish, big fish. I got a net, I got to grip him. Good fish. This is a real good fish. Nice fish here. That is a nice fish. Nice one. Heck yeah. Popping them in the boat, baby. Nice 18 pounder. Good looking fish. A little mud. Down back alive. There you go, guys. That's back here shallow. That one. I think it was on a big chunk of crappie. I'm gonna get it back out there. I know that for a lot of people coming into town to fish these tournaments, uh, it, it's it's an inconvenience, especially when you have hotels booked, time taken off work. Listen, I plan to be at the tournament, so uh, I understand the frustration, but uh, I also understand that uh, it, it's it, it's something that probably in their situation, I don't know all the details. Uh, since that was being done in conjunction with, you know, local travel and tourism, parks and rec people, whatever you want to call them, they were probably going to lose the support of those people and whatever help they were providing because most of these governments have been put in a position, these government bodies, to where they got to take some kind of action. And, uh, yeah, is it tied to politics? Probably so. You know, they're, they're, they're elected officials and, you know, they, they are, they're worried about voters and what voters are going to think if something goes wrong. So... Yeah, some of it's tied to that. Uh, that's the world we live in. Uh, but it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to get bent out of shape on any of this stuff. It's already been done. The bell's been rung. It's, you know, over and done. So uh, we just got to deal with it and figure out a way to adapt to it. That's the biggest thing. And my way to adapt is going fishing. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.